Okay, we have started off with this formula. We talked quite a bit about force is equal to mass times acceleration, correct? All right. But not everything that you're doing on this worksheet has you solving for force. Sometimes you're solving for mass, sometimes you're solving for acceleration, sometimes you're even solving for weight. Now, we've already explained that this equation right here is really this equation in disguise. Do you all remember that? Okay. But still, what if I have to find mass? What if I have to find acceleration due to gravity? This is just a little bit of algebra. Some of you all know how to do this. Some of you haven't learned how to do this yet. So I'm going to walk you through changing up the formulas. Are you all ready? Because you're going to need to write these down so that you can use them when you do the rest of this worksheet. Fabulous. <laughs> Here we go. If force is equal to mass times acceleration, guys, if I divide both sides by mass, then I'm going to get what acceleration equals. Acceleration equals net force divided by mass. And this equation is actually in your notes. Remember, we highlighted it. Okay. But what if I need to solve for mass? Well, I take this original equation, and instead of dividing both sides by mass like I did to get this, I'm going to divide both sides by acceleration. So mass is going to be net force divided by acceleration. And sometimes in the homework questions, they just state force. They don't say that it's net force. So unless they um, tell you specifically that it's not net, net force, just assume that they mean net force. Does everyone understand that? Yep. All right. Same thing here. You've got weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. Great, that solves it for weight, but what if I need something else? Mass would be weight divided by acceleration due to gravity. <coughs> acceleration due to gravity would be weight divided by what? Mass. Okay. Everybody okay with that? All right, the other problem that some of y'all are running into is that you're having to find acceleration the old-fashioned way from when we did our motion problems, and that is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So if you read a problem and you're given, I don't know, a car changes its velocity from this to that in however many seconds, this is the formula that you're probably going to have to use in order to calculate acceleration. Okay, So you may have to calculate acceleration with this formula before you can go back and figure out force with this formula. So you may have to use that other formula to calculate acceleration before you can plug it in here and get force. You guys got that? There we go. That zooms it all out. Yeah, let's see all of All right, so basically those seven formulas should get you through this entire worksheet. You guys got it? And I've rearranged them, so all you need to do is write them down somewhere so that you have them, and we're in good shape. 